Hello and welcome. We come to you today from the magnificent Hyderabad Public School in Hyderabad and we are here to discuss about the mathematics paper as part of the ICSC class 10 board exams. With me is Lata Madhuri, who is the head of department of mathematics at HPS. Uh, Ma'am, uh, talking about the format of the mathematics paper, uh, what are the most common mistakes that students make uh, in the board exams? Because of, obviously there is an entire ecosystem of stress, anxiety, apprehension as well. So how does all that add to, you know, making mistakes in the mathematics paper? Yeah, okay. See, there are three aspects like for most of the topics, there are formulae, the correct substitution and computation, right? When it is uh, correct formulae, they have to identify the correct formulae. Generally what happens, they are in a hurry. Human tendency, what is there on mind, we see it on the paper. Actually, it should be vice versa. What is there on the paper should actually go get into the mind. Accordingly, you will react and produce whatever you have to. So what happens, correct formula when I said it, Sometimes they may choose a wrong formula. They think it's right because they are in a hurry. The two and a half hours they have to finish the whole thing and they have to pour out whatever they have learned, mm. whatever they have they've been taught. So formulae, sometimes, uh, most of the times the formulae goes wrong. Subsequently, everything goes wrong. Mm. They won't even realize till they get their result. They will be under the impression, oh, I've got it, I've got it. That's one thing. Formulae, as such, they don't get marks. Correct substitution in the correct formula, yes, there is a mark hmm. all the 80 marks are divided into 80 into one there are no half marks either it is one but mark for that particular step or zero so when they chose the correct formula then the correct substitution sometimes the units centimeters and millimeters it's given if it's menstruation i'm just taking a few yes. examples yes. they don't convert another biggest problem which most of them end up doing is that if the diameter is given they will take it that as a radius they forget to take half of it as a radius that's a that's the uh, biggest concern we all uh, insist on that we all emphasize more on that when we are teaching also but at the same time when they are doing their children their students they when they are writing the exam mm. you know you know the mental mm. status mm. so that is one area they mm. can make a lot of mistakes mm. another area the most common which everyone mm. uh, would have done or would be doing hopefully shouldn't be doing uh, is computation 2 into 2 they write they write it as 6 2 to the power 2 they write it as 8 something like this silly mistakes all this could have been avoided when they check back see two and a half hours paper two hours section a two hours section b if they can finish they they should be able to each some gets about five minutes to do it that's much more than enough for a person who has prepared in a standard so manner. in terms of time management given the fact that the maths paper is of two and a half hours what would be the kind of ideal time management that you would suggest yeah section a should be finished within an hour the first hour see the reading time is given to you to, if, uh, the given to them that's a boon it happens only in ICSC nowhere else so that has to be utilized optimum use of that reading time mm -hmm. what happens when they read oh this I know this I know they are in the excitement but they forget to choose the correct ones not forget they make mistakes in choosing the correct correct mm -hmm. choices mm -hmm. sometimes they think oh this is menstruation I know but the small little things which are hidden factors mm -hmm. they ignore so they have to underline that with a pencil when, mm. while they are reading it. Sometimes what happens, find the area, find also the distance or find also the height. Mm. The second part they forget. All these are common areas which we come across when we correct. correct. We feel so bad but can't help it. Mm. Uh, that's a helpless now, situation. Now uh, ma'am, there is a booklet which is given in the examination hall which has the square roots, the log tables. Yeah. How can this book be used to the best use by the student during the exam? Yeah, see, uh, chapters like quadratic equations, they have to find out roots for the numbers which are not perfect squares mm. perfect squares anyway they know yeah. it so there 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 are there are methods to use it mm. so this log tables where, where they have the uh, square roots and cube, cube roots we don't anyway have that mm. they don't be tested for mm. that square roots is ma maximum used there but they can see that there also they have to use their common sense suppose i, I give them 38 mm. suppose they get the discriminant as 38 38 under root it has to lie between 6 and 7 because 36 and 49 are the two perfect squares, neighboring perfect squares. So when they are checking the tables, they have to place the decimal point at the right place. So that has to be trained uh, before they go for the exam. As so as that's as Ojai, which comes in section B, uh, how does one go about it and how precise should the measurement be? See, it's a freehand curve. No two people can draw the same curve. 
I, uh, no two teachers also would be drawing in the same way. Mm -hmm. That's why there is a variation. The answer, suppose it is 47 plus or minus 1 mm -hmm. is also considered. Mm -hmm keeping the curvature in the mind or keeping the free hand curve in mind. Mm. So the answers definitely there is a scope given to the benefit given to the student. Mm. Plus or minus one we do consider. Mm. If it's too much of a variation, then it's a problem. Another one point what we all insist is when they are joining the first two points, the third point should be kept in mind so that the curvature is maintained. Yes. That is what we insist. And the second and third points are joined, the fourth point should be kept in mind so the hand goes in a, mm -hmm. uh, in a more uh, smoother uh, correct, way. Correct. That's one thing they have to um, What are the tips that you would give for constructions? Is writing the steps necessary? See, generally what we follow is if it's tested for three marks, mm -hmm. they don't have to waste their time writing the stories. Mm -hmm. If it's tested for four or more, five marks, five marks generally it doesn't happen some cases it happens also mm. then they will have to uh, write mm. but they don't write stories mm. see if they have to construct a perpendicular bisector they don't have to write the procedure construct a perpendicular bisector for the line a b line segment a b that's that precise they have to write that also most of the times we don't uh, give much of an importance to this mm. because the language is not tested there mm. it's a concept so where, where does the student do the rough work i mean does it should it be done on the last page or it can be done on the right hand side of the same page okay. see in the question paper itself in the general instructions there is a mention all the rough work calculations should be done adjacent to the answer okay. so the right margin is given for marks right, right? then we tell them to draw one more line next to that in that column they write mm. some of them they also write uh, beneath the paper like mm. uh, end of the paper mm. they can draw a line and then they can do their uh, rough so work do, there. Uh, do uh, examiners look at that rough we work? do we do sometimes see the posting error may happen yes. suppose they get 49 into 58 they get the answer there and as right. suppose it is some two three four eight or something like that mm. they, when they are uh, posting it it mm. could be two four uh, three eight dyslexic mm. errors mm. so Sometimes, yes, we do consider the right value there. Then we do consider marks also. Because if it, that value is carried further, hmm. so even if it's a wrong value which he has posted, hmm. there is a consideration given most of the cases. Okay. Yeah. Now, in heights and distances question, will the diagram given be given or is the student expected to draw based on the question given? Uh, any tips to ensure that the drawing doesn't go wrong? Because if that does, the entire sum goes wrong. See, uh, it's not necessary that the diagram is given. Mm. Many a times they are expected to draw the diagram. Mm. So one tip they have to remember, the width of the road or the width of the river or uh, horizontal, they, they are represented by horizontal lines. Mm. Tree, height of the tree, tower, building, all these things are represented by a vertical line. So mm. if they can follow these small little things, angle of elevation, angle of depression, both of them are the same when you look at it because they happen to be alternate interior angles. So, these small little things if they remember and either of the side, if there is a pillar, either of the side or on the same side, mm. these are the things while they are reading the sum, they should emphasize on this and remember and draw accordingly. They are expected to My read. last question now, in questions based on geometry, mm. uh, where the diagram is given in the question and they need to find the angles, for instance. How should the presentation of such a question be? See, at a vertex, there are two angles. Mm. There may be two angles. If the two lines intersect at a particular vertex A, there may be two different angles. Mm. They have to mention angle A, B, C or B, A, C or mm. something like mm. this. And when they say this angle B, A, C is say 45 degrees, they have to write a reason also why it is 40. Mm. Is it because of vertically opposite or interior opposite or what is the reason? Mm. They are expected to write this way. Mm. Statement and the reason. So should the diagram be redrawn reasoning for not, every statement? Not actually required. Mm. But if it's better if they draw it. Mm. Because every time when they are, when they are looking in referring to the question paper and writing it on the answer sheet, mm. it they, there is a tendency to go wrong. Mm. But if they draw also, they should not be spending too much time. Half mm. a minute, they can reproduce the same diagram. Mm. It's advisable to draw, actually. Now, uh, many students do go in for an extra question just as a buffer mm. in case the original number of questions mm. go wrong. Does the board take a lenient view that, okay, you will check that one also and take the best of the lot? Definitely. The best of the lot is always considered. As mm. far as math is concerned, the best of the four mm. in the section in section B is considered. Right. Definitely. Yeah. So, you, they, you, must, so uh, you, do, you do advise students if they have the time to go in for an extra question? We do advise but not for all the students. See, there are levels of uh, yes. uh, caliber. Yeah. So we do advise for the toppers. In case 2 into 2, 2 into 2, if they write it as 6, they don't realize they should not be losing out the mark. Mm. And they are capable of mm. doing it extra. 
but people who are little uh, low performers we don't advise that mm. whatever you do do it right mm. and check it thoroughly and so definitely i mean like for maths maths paper all the more important to have that extra last 10 minutes to revise, revise all yeah. the answers. check thoroughly mm. check is not what the sum is done the sum is done it's that's not called as check mm. thorough check especially in the calculations right. computations right. and the answers see generally when they write the units we don't give importance mm. but it's good if they write that's a way they present the answers yes. so the checking is a must right. mandatory we make it actually right. but most of the students <laughs> the go they don't do it and they're a little overconfident yeah, right. but if these things are avoided generally they do very well math is such a simple subject yes. actually it's yes. just logic right. it's life right. so <laughs> thank you very much for your tips i'm sure the students are going to find this extremely useful thank, thank you so very much. much all the best yeah. to all the students thank you thank you